ask all of you to sort of um, give us some advice, tell us what to do in a way, which is what would you, what thought would you want to leave us all with? People are grappling with tragedies, with the incessant, you know, bad news coming into their feeds and every time they wake up looking at, you know, uh, despair and devastation on the news everywhere. How, what advice do you have for, for everybody here to, um, to not let it push you into despair? Chris, you want to go first? I would say build real relationships which are never built electronically. Um, that it is going to be, I once asked uh, Dan Berrigan before he died how he was responding to the decay of the American empire and he said all we have is the Eucharist and each other, i.e. all we have is ritual and each other. And so many people have neither. Whatever that ritual is, we need it and we need to shut off these electronic hallucinations because they are only fueling the atomization and the isolation and the despair. And we have to build relationships the way they're always built, which is face to face. And that means relationships with people who are not like us, may not even believe what we believe. Um, but I think much of the malaise of American society comes from a deep and profound loneliness which is exacerbated by the technology which we all have available in handheld devices. Um, yeah, I think uh, I, one of the things that people uh, are suffering from is distractibility and and uh, which is, again, a daughter of acedia, of this spiritual slothfulness, of not being on an active path and actually working on yourself spiritually. Mm -hmm. um, we have a limited amount of time. In, in the Chinese Taoist tradition, they, they, they say it's very important to maintain health because you will not overcome yourself before 50 or 60. Right, so, so they say you owe it to yourself to, to try to maintain health so that you have enough time to, to be prepared for the next step, the journey, because death is coming to us all and the readiness is all. Are we, are we ready for that next step? Because it's coming and, and our, you know, the response to atheists, atheists, the Quran is very clear, let those who want to disbelieve, disbelieve, and let those who want to believe, believe that there's no argument against it. It's a choice. You're choosing something, and this is something that God's given every single human being, the ability to make those choices. And so I choose to be hopeful, and my hope is in God, with God, and through God. It's not in the world, with the world, or through the world. My hope is, is, is transcends this world. And, and, and that's what, what I would hope uh, other people recognize, that that door is open for anybody. Um, to, to enter into, uh, and it is a choice, and, and, and we, we, we should think about it seriously, because our civilization is a civilization that just distracts people constantly, and never before have the tools of distraction been greater. Um, I mean, Pascal's remark that, that the, all the trouble, troubles in the world are a result of people, the inability for a person to sit alone in his room by himself, and that, that was Kierkegaard's so despair was about fleeing from the self, um, and, and there's a verse in the Quran, those who forget God will inevitably forget themselves by the very act of forgetting God. Imam yeah, Zahid. In, in the ancient world, amongst uh, religious people, solitude was a, a means for spiritual refinement. In the modern world, solitude is a torture technique. I, I think that, uh, practically speaking, turn off the television, put your phone away for hours at a time, make sure that the first thing you do in the morning is not checking your emails or seeing who texted you, and that the last thing you do at night isn't checking to see what Trump is up to. <laughs> Wake up. Pray, 
before you go to sleep. If you're a believer, pray. If you're not a believer, meditate. But try to, try to cultivate the ability to be alone with yourself and to find contentment with yourself. And if you believe in God, to find contentment with God. And as Sheikh Hamza mentioned, it's, it's with all the distractions. And don't share. I'm, I, I was thinking, like, I should be quick. Uh, how many people have drawn me into their addictions? Like, people are addicted to YouTube clips. And I know thousands of people. And they're all sending me the must-view clip. <laughs> and I didn't choose any of them based on the logic and direction of my life. They've introduced them into my life. And so I'm going to send a message out, don't share your addiction with me, because I have enough trouble overcoming my own.